what shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? My name is Stephanie, and it is so wonderful to have you as a listener of Gifted Church Podcast. As the year comes to an end, would you please prayerfully consider a gift to support Gifted Church as we seek to expand the podcast onto newer platforms such as Spotify and iHeartRadio in 2020. Contact Pastor Kwame for more information. Now let's get into the word with Pastor Kwame. Stay blessed. Praise be to God. We give God the glory. We've come to the other side of our blessing. After we've gone through the week of fasting, we are excited about what we have put in in the realm of the spirit. Now, anything you put in the ground with, with the right timing in place, it will bring results. So we understand that as it is in the natural, so it, it is in the spiritual. So the five days that are behind you, they're actually in front of you. They're going to yield results. The Bible says, now it yield 34, 64, and 100 fold. In the name of Jesus, may your prayers yield results. May your fasting bring you dividend. May your fasting open doors for you in Jesus' name. And I feel that God has answered our cry and good things are going to come. I greet you with Jesus' joy. We have a few days left in the year and I thank God for this journey. And I believe that greater things are ahead of us. I'm always excited to share the word of God with you. The flower fades, the leaf wither, but the word of God abides forever. Amen. And I want to thank you for also taking time to absorb the word of God. And like I I will share with you all, the goal is to add just a little bit of push to what God is already doing in your life. And as you walk with God, I want to be able to cheer you on and say, keep going. Because greater is he that is residing in you than he that is in the world. Praise be to God. Amen. 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 And amen. So let me get to work. Um, one of the things that uh, I'm going to spend the rest of the year doing is to just kind of give you a little bit of what God is going to do for you, what God wants you to believe him for, and the possibilities that are available to you. And and dreaming big and dreaming well and dreaming large and kind of kind of going for it amen and kind of waiting for the manifestation of his will and growth and all of the good things that god has in store for us from glory to glory from grace to grace and from what we call ancient to ancient praise be to god so let me just quickly get to work today as i share with you on what god has given me today um i want to talk to you today on a very special note but let me read the verse first in the book of matthew chapter 9 the division 6 the last portion of it matthew chapter 9 the division 6 the last portion of it the scripture says now stand up pick up your mat and go home praise be to god stand up pick up your mat and go home um before i say anything if you if you get any testimonies going forward please send it with me i mean send it to me and then i will celebrate with you if god will put answers into your hands based on the time of fast and prayer and you have any testimony just just hit me and then i will just pray with you and celebrate with you amen um matthew chapter 6 verse 9 sorry 9 6 c it says stand up pick up your mat and go home praise be to god i want to just declare prophesy speak and tell you that 2020 is your year of homecoming hallelujah 2020 is your year of homecoming praise be to god um symbolically um jesus spent three years in ministry and if you sit and tabulate how much time he spent in house in a home in a physical location which is a home inside actually a a four-wall home there are few accounts most of his time in his ministry was outside was physically outside uh out out, outside uh a home he was out there you follow and the wilderness on the grass somewhere uh, by the beach and things like that um that is because it symbolized a person whose assignment is to go out there go outside the house and kind of bring people home spiritually speaking that is kind of his assignment so if you look at the picture he is the one that is sent by god to go outside there to call those who are lost those who are marginalized those who are ostracized those who are being kicked out those who are kind of roaming about homeless his assignment is kind of bring them home 
So most of the time, Jesus will be not be in house. If he's in the house, it is for a short period of time and he goes out again. You understand that? But that tells you that there's something unique about the assignment Jesus has and why he kind of most of the time will end up his healing with the instruction, go home. You follow? And so if you look at go home, it's deeper than just a physical building that you are going into. You understand? So this man in question was healed. And and it looks like Jesus says to the man, until you are home, you are not actually healed yet. You understand that? So I want to kind of dig that home for you today so you understand what it means to go home, what it means for 2020 to be your year of home coming and 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 it's very important i'm going to share a little bit of my testimony that will kind of give you the idea of where i'm going with this so 2020 a year of your homecoming and for some of you it's actually a literal word you might be trying to go back home to africa if you're outside and 2020 and if you want to go call me i'm gonna go with you amen i want to believe god to go promote god is in control sometimes uh somewhere uh, in the calendar somewhere praise god so pray with me that it becomes successful amen i want a lot of sponsors to come through so i could push this song this song gotta go far praise god amen all right back to the assignment now um so the the the, 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 the word is that 2020 is your year of homecoming now so let me begin to share a little bit about my testimony that will kind of give you the idea of what i mean by to homecoming amen so it's not a physical home it's not a physical address it's not like a home as an address my home as in a place where god wants you to kind of go and so let us work on that i told you that jesus um Jesus, for Jesus, home is where God is. Amen. He was called to bring people to where God is. So home to Jesus was where God is. All right. But for you, home is what I'm going to share with you. So some of you might be aware. Some of you might not be aware. But um, in in my late, uh, how do I say it? I'm not that old. So calm down. So, but around about 25 years ago, I experienced a very strange illness. It started as a mental sickness. It became a, a psychological sickness. It became a physical sickness and all that. So in my transition, I had to be on strain medications. And so at some point when the medication was stopped and I was regaining myself, I lost a lot of things about myself. I lost my handwriting. I lost some mobility in part of my body. So it took a while for me to kind of come home to myself and that is really what god is saying so the idea of coming home is when life has beaten you and you have lost certain things physically the way you used to look is that how you look anymore and all of the things that you have experienced it kicks you out of home which is your real self because because i i used to dance very well when i got sick i all that ability to move my body to dance i lost all of that and i watched myself gain a little bit of me gradually gradually on so there was there was a, a day that i felt all of me have come home you understand that and that is what god is saying today that as you enter the year 2020 all of yourself will come home because some of you you went through divorce you went through sickness and you have lost the real you and internally you don't feel the the real you a piece of you is still not back yet. And God said for me to tell you that as we enter the new year, all of you is going to come home. Are you feeling me? Mentally, you're going to be home. Psychologically, you're going to be home. So until all the piece of you have come together, then you are not complete. And so in here, Jesus is saying that come home, come home. As in, you can pick up your mat, you can stand up but until you go home the healing is not complete and that's what god is saying so until all the part of you after 2019 has kind of pushed you apart a little bit you are not yourself you're not yourself you're not really the you that you know yourself to be and god is saying that as you enter the new year you're going to come home amen so my transition was very interesting I, nobody knew that my mom could tell that my handwriting has changed and this is not myself because a, a part of me was not there yet you know it was like i was shot and 
I'm, I'm piecing myself back together gradually. It took a while. It took a while. Trust me. I, I took a while. My, I was like a, 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 a 20 year old who has Alzheimer's or something. I was shaking like some nobody's business. And, and I went through all that process until I gained my true self back. And that's why God is saying, you are going to gain your true self back again as we enter the new year because life has pulled you apart in many places, but you're going to gain yourself back. You understand that? So, that is what it means to go home. To go home as in get all your faculties back together again. To get into your, your, your original factory setting. Hallelujah. The divine you. Because sometimes life can break you and you stop looking like yourself and some of you life has made you look different but i hear god say 2020 is your year of homecoming hallelujah so you're going to come home to the 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 real you hallelujah you're going to come back to the 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 ground state you're going to come back to the original design hallelujah the original intent of god so i want to share with you quickly about um four places that you are going to come home to Obviously, the first place you will come home to is you will come home to a place called home. And home is where God is. Hallelujah. So, so that is where God is going to take you in the year 2020. He is going to bring you to where he is because that's the only place you can call home is where God is. Amen. And so God is going to invade every dimension of your life as you enter the new year. God is going to invade your financial life, invade even your hobbies and your, your get, the things you do for fun. God is going to sanctify all of those things and, and bring you really home because unless you are home you cannot really be yourself hallelujah so the first place god says home is where he is he says adam and eve where are you they have moved from home and since then humanity has moved away from home but thank god for the gentleman called jesus who was sent to bring us home to our father where we can have a cool of the day conversation with god and know that he is our daddy and we are home the prodigal son will come home may i prophesy that your prodigal brother will come home your prodigal sister will come home your prodigal son will come home and those who are lost will be found in the mighty name of jesus praise god I love the word of God. All right, so number two, home is where your wholeness is. That's what really I want to talk about. Home is where your wholeness is. Wholeness as in mentally whole, emotionally whole, psychologically whole. You are going to be yourself. Oh, God help me. You're going to be yourself again in 2020. You're going to regain, believe what I'm preaching and you're going to be changing. Hallelujah. So you're going to be yourself. Wholeness is coming on you until you are whole until you are healed completely until you are really at rest in on your inside like the transition i went through um you will not be able to be at home so jesus says go home so what he's saying is that 2020 you are coming home and you are coming into a wholeness a wholeness nothing broken nothing missing praise be to god mentally a home is where your mind sleeps hallelujah mental overdose mental uh, instability mental agitations and god says home is where your mind can sleep you know you can have the most expensive bed and still not sleep but god says i'm going to bring you home in 2020 where your mind can sleep for the first time where you can feel that you have rested may you receive that right now as i pray father in the name of jesus i activate home password for your people that mentally we are coming home mentally we are coming home anything that stresses our life that makes us worry that makes us tired i release that word for you right now you are coming home 2020 and even now is starting you don't have to wait for the calendar to change because god is a respecter of western calendar in the name of jesus you are coming home right now i say you are coming home mentally another place god calls home is where your heart is secured hallelujah and i believe that is talking about relationship and uh, quality people that you can call your homie your homie you feel me somebody you can really feel at home with and god is going to restore that as well a place where your heart is secure amen if you get emotionally whole and your mind can sleep and your heart is secure i think you are the richest guy around hallelujah a place
place called home where you are whole. You feel whole on the inside where your mind can sleep because, you know, your eyes can close while your mind is open and you cannot sleep. You don't use your eyes to sleep. You use your mind to sleep because when your mind keeps working and working and working, your eyes can close, but it doesn't mean you are sleeping. And so home is where your mind can sleep. Hallelujah. And home is where your heart is secure. Praise God. And then finally, home is where God wants you. God wants you to be at home. God created you at home. It's amazing that God didn't create Adam outside the garden and he didn't bring him to the garden later. God created a home first and he put man there. You are not in your element. You are not in your zone. You are not in your strength if you are not home. So God wants you to be home. Hallelujah. Some of you, you are going to regain your beauty again. You are going to regain your handsomeness again. You are going to regain the sharpness of your mind again. You are going to regain your, your passion again. You are going to regain your love again. You are going to regain your laughter. You have stopped laughing. You used to be a very happy person. You have stopped all that. You are coming home to that self. You are coming home. Hallelujah. You are coming home to a secure place. You are coming home to a peaceful place. In the name of Jesus, that is your portion in Christ our Lord Jesus. Father, we want to honor your name. We thank you and we can't wait to come home fully. In Jesus' name, amen.